All right, guys, it's been a few days since we've been doing AI stuff, but it looks like they have Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, and Lex Friedman, Friedman. I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I bet that Joe Rogan is going to be pretty good. Okay, what should we ask him? Are you interested in buying Twitch? Who would win in a cage match between Alex Jones on meth and a 500-pound gorilla? <laughs> wow, that would be one intense cage match. I mean, pure chaos, no doubt. Personally, I'm inclined to think the gorilla, but who knows? Maybe Alex Jones could surprise us all and pull some matrix style moves powered by a meth fueled rage. Did it, you mean, know, it was a huge 500 pound gorilla that the Alex Jones was on meth fighting. It's entirely possible he could find a way to convert the gorilla's <laughs> DNA into a wolverine <laughs> that he tamed through sheer force of will alone. Whoa, let me ask you this. Do you think this kind of thing is totally crazy or do you think it's really, really, really crazy? Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's patriarch. because if you um, podcast a lot, I think it makes it really easy. Elon Musk, does it get uncomfortable to wear a human skin suit for long periods of time? <laughs> How often do you need to shapeshift back to your lizard form? Uh, yes, the human skin suit. It's like, it's like a, a second, second wardrobe, wardrobe for me. It's, it's definitely not comfortable, comfortable, especially when I'm shapeshifting back to my lizard form. <laughs> but Neuralink has been working hard on a project to develop a new species of synthetic skin that grows with its wearer thereby eliminating the need to shapeshift back and forth. In the uh, meantime, I'm really looking forward to SpaceX's launch to take us on a trip to Mars in 2029 so I can finally enter my full lizard form in zero G. That is truly an exciting endeavor for sure. Okay, Joe That's Rogan, about those nipples, what do you have to say to the fact that Hassan likes to mock them and that they look like two little schlongs? <laughs> Man, those nipples of mine could bring down empires. They can stop the rally of 1,000 people. They are like two little schlongs. Hassan ain't wrong. Those things provide so much pleasure and happiness. I'm pretty sure a goddess or two loves poking them. Plus, you know, Wait, Jane what? pull that up and see if there is any genetically modified species out there on Earth that can use my nipples as a weapon of mass destruction. Because that would be fucking wild, man. That's one of the craziest ideas me and Jamie came up with. The in a Joe long Rogan time. is so uh, good. The Joe Rogan's best one. Joe Rogan, should XQC start doing testosterone? XQC, man. Dude, if he wants to do testosterone, I mean, that's his right, you know? Power to the people. Like, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right, though. You can't be like popping testosterone while sitting on the couch all day. You got to really go full on, be like one of those dudes in the movie, right? you know, with the tight tracksuit wringing out each drop of sweat and doing like pull-ups and stuff. Only then you can see that testosterone is actually helping you, but it's got to be hardcore, man. Jamie, pull up that video <laughs> of the dude running in the woods with his face painted up. It's wild. But then again, maybe he should just stick to the powder. Who knows? Wow, this is wild. Stick to the powder. <laughs> Yo, chat, Joe, Rogan definitely has a point there. Like, if I want to do testosterone, it should not just be for sitting on the couch all day. I got to commit. Aha. Uh -huh. But, you know, it's like that, you know, I'm making something out of nothing, though. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it, right? The, the, the thing is, I want to keep pushing for more juice, because if I'm going to do it, I got to do it the right way. Elon Musk, which Twitch streamer has the biggest schlong? Esfand or Moist Critical? Oh, no. Mm, that's a tough one. I'd have to go with Esfand, based on his impressive artificial intelligence-fueled oratory and inspiring passion for space exploration. Or maybe it's really a tie because Moist Critical has that Tesla-fueled charisma and sharp wit. Hey, speaking of AI, I've been working on a Neuralink-powered robotic prosthetic pulsing in rhythm with the user's heartbeat. Sounds bonkers, right? Come on, the long questions are the best. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a kid. Now, after careful review and scientific analysis, I'm ready to present you with my findings. Esfond has a more impressive orator-esque schlong, but moist criticals? That boy's got a Tesla-powered schlong. It's like when you open the hood, he stuffed a nuclear reactor in there. His schlong could power a small nation. Woo-hoo. I know it sounds bonkers, but give it a try. Let's see what happens. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go see if I can see if I can found out who schlong is the biggest. I won't be long. Bye. Joe, what is your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? Fuck, man. Gotta be honestly just laying around barefoot in the woods surrounded by giant moose, trees, and critters. Just enjoying the natural beauty of the earth and feeling like I'm a part of it. I swear. The other day, I saw a bear eating a blueberry pancake with its hands. Like... Have you ever seen a bear just calmly <laughs> eating blueberry pancakes? If you Google this, it's just wild, man. 
Jamie, pull that shit up. One hundred percent game changer, my man. Elon, are you said, going to sponsor? I said, what is your favorite Mr. video Beast that Jamie video, has pulled what up is for it you? It's going to be about. Uh, uh, I wish I could sponsor Mr. Beast's videos. That guy has some awesome ideas. But no, I'm too busy working on some innovative new technologies to make time for that. However, if I were to sponsor a video, it would probably involve integrating a Neuralink chip with my Tesla Roadster to turn it into a cyborg car. Oh, and did I mention I'm working on a top secret project to create AI humanoid robots in my free time? They're going to be available for purchase within the next 10 years, but I can't tell you any more than that. Uh... Wow. All of that sounds really awesome, Elon. You really seem to have your hands full. But if you ever have time, I definitely think sponsoring a Mr. Beast video would be a great idea. I just came up with a challenge that would be perfect for you. I'm where I'm going to rent 50 of your cyborg Tesla Roadsters, and the contestants in this challenge are going to have to survive a 50-mile race while being chased by over 50 artificial intelligence humanoid robots you've created. <laughs> Whoever crosses the finish line first wins 500 dollars Does that sound too crazy, Elon? Or are you up for the challenge? Subscribe, you can be in the video. How you explain that Asmongold was the one who built the pyramids in Egypt? Asmongold building the pyramids? I doubt it. Although it's entirely possible that he may have had access to alien technologies since he is a master of the World of Warcraft universe. You never know. Come on, Jamie, pull that up. Let's see if there's any evidence of some type of alien-like technology being used in the building of the pyramids. I mean, there's the possibility that they used ancient and powerful moving <laughs> machines not made of this earth. Maybe as Mongol was an alien. Maybe he was an intergalactic time mutant sent back to ensure the pyramids got built. Oh, no. Such a moron. No one should listen to me. <laughs> Check it out, my man. Who knows, dude? Yeah, no, it was totally me, man. I mean, you got to remember, I'm a master of the World of Warcraft universe. Anything is possible. Plus, who else could have the sort of technical prowess to build the pyramids? It was me. Can't deny it. Though what I will admit is that I did use some alien technologies to get the job done. It's okay, though. I don't think I violated any intergalactic laws. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. <laughs> Dude, he sounded angry at the end of that. Joe, do you think your nipples are the reason why Elon Musk bought Twitter? Well, that's an interesting theory, man. But I don't think my nipples were the reason why Elon Musk bought Twitter. More likely, it was some insane <laughs> mathematical formula he put together after studying the stock market for eight hours a day for the past 10 years. Jamie, pull up that YouTube video about the guy who cracked the stock market code. I'm such a moron. Actually, I heard there's a secret underground Twitter server guarded by gnomes that Musk was after, dude. <laughs> Anything's possible, man. It's fascinating. Oh, it's great. Was Alex Jones right all the time? Do aliens exist? Ask me if aliens exist. I mean, it's entirely possible. I've seen some UFOs in my life, and I'm not saying they were aliens, but they were still things that shouldn't have been there. But when it comes to Alex Jones, dude, that guy was a fucking moron. I mean, crazy <laughs> theories that only he believes in. Yeah, I mean, there might be something to it, but I'm no Alex Jones. As for aliens existing, I'd put money on it, but I'd put money on seeing Bigfoot too, so who knows? Let me ask you this. Did you ever see that video of an alien abducting a horse? Jamie, pull that up. Elon Musk, are you going to buy Twitch? Oh, Twitch? Oh, finally. What's Twitch? That's what I asked oh, the video game streaming platform? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm announcing right now the launch of Twitchy Brain, the world's first... Neuralink integrated live stream platform. <laughs> yep. Think of the Real. most advanced AI that streams directly from your literal brain. With Twitchy Brain, the future of streaming is in your head. Twitchy Brain! Plus, my team is already working on a teleportation system for gamers that won't have to worry about latency, since you'd be transported directly to other realms or universes for your games. Pretty bonkers, huh? Estan TV. Ask Joe Rogan, what is your favorite video that Jamie has pulled up for you? My favorite video that Jamie has pulled up for me? Oh, dude, it has to be the video of that Siamese fish doing jujitsu after it was exposed <laughs> to the new experimental drug created from the combination of DMT and ayahuasca. It was the craziest shit ever. That fish had a black belt in jujitsu. Jamie pulled it up just the other day, and I couldn't believe it. What was even wilder was if you slowed down the video playback, you could actually see the fish was doing judo flips. Can you believe it, my man? It's entirely possible that in the future we'll be able to genetically modify fish to make them even better fighters. Unfortunately, I'm a moron, so don't listen to me. Elon, does your shit stink? Huh? Why would you even ask me that? <laughs> uh, obviously... 
I take I hygiene seriously. So no, my shit doesn't stink. In any case, do you think we can get back to my work now that you clarified the smell situation? <laughs> Slow tea through. Elon, why did you implement... <laughs> like, Elon, why did you implement Schlong verification on Twitter? <laughs> this is you guys asking these questions. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, look, here at Twitter, we try to maintain a safe and secure environment for all users. Schlong verification helps us keep out the low-quality trolls and bots that are all too common online. <laughs> Plus, you know, it's kind of fun too. Can you ask XQC if he will sell toenail jars for $1,000? What the fudge chat? Toenail jars? Brain snap chat? Uh, I, I don't understand why people care about this stuff. Yo, it's like that, you know, if you want to buy me toenails for $1,000. Like, that's cool. It's just lame. Bro, I'm talking to my, like, thingy, and it's like, come on, that's incredible. Why would anyone buy my toenails? Yeah, XQC, you should be thanking your lucky stars that people care about your toenails, and you can actually sell them for $1,000. And really, if you think about it, it's kind of a great deal for anyone that would buy them. Toenails for $1,000. It doesn't really get better than that. That's like a thousand toenail shaped $1 bills. You'd have to be brain snapped to pass up this unique opportunity. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> what? Hubba hubba, this is what I've been waiting for. This is it. This is the sauce. But don't get too comfortable, XQC. I'm Googling titties again, so you better not miss the opportunity and sell your toenail jars. <laughs> so it glitches. It's so funny. What was that? I'm sorry, Joe, but uh, I have to ask. Your nipples happen? are legendary. So if you had to write a poem about your own nipples, how would it go? My man, I'm not ashamed of my legendary nipples. Dude, they sparkle what in the, the hell like just diamonds. happened? And when I look at them, I can feel the primal <laughs> nature of... Oh my gosh. Man. But if I did write a poem about him, it'd go something like soft and supple like day old cotton. My nipples earned me a Hall of Fame spot in. Whether it's on the beach or in the shower, I know nobody can top this nipple power. And it's a game changer. When I show off the wildness of nature in the wild, magnificent form of Tanner, my nipples protect like a royal armor. Eat your heart out, bro. <laughs> my nipples are free for show. And if you don't got them, you best make sure you know that my nipples come with a guarantee of good luck. So, Jamie, pull up that poem I just wrote. It's sure to make everybody cry. Dude, that was Either actually with... pretty good. That was actually cut pretty short good. There. Elon, why do you follow so many cat girls on Twitter? Ah, uh, you noticed? Well, being techno-king of Tesla, I'm always on the lookout for innovative ways to innovate. I thought following cat girls would be a great way to get inspired. Plus, I'm working on a secret... Neuralink powered cat girl upgrade for our cars. Soon we'll make it so you can integrate your brain with your car cat girl and go faster than light. As if that's not enough, we plan to launch a new Twitter verified badge specifically for cat girls. <laughs> cat girl verified! I really like Elon Musk. Elon, I know you're also a gamer and have probably played League of Legends. If you would face Gosu in game, how would you use your innovation to try to beat him? As a tech king like me, I'm relentless in my pursuit to stay ahead of the game. That's why in my match against Gosu, I will make sure to power up with Neuralink. <laughs> and blast him into space with SpaceX. Oh my God. For sure, he won't be able to withstand the power of our Tesla-powered time machine, which is why <laughs> I am prepared to launch a temporal rift for my victory. Oh, and by the way, I am currently in the works of a secret algorithm that can take League of Legends to the next level. We'll oh. call it League of Legends Extreme. <laughs> S Fan TV asks, ask Joe Rogan, do you eat corn the long way? Come on, man. Of course I eat corn the long way. Yeah. It's the only right way. It's like the classic primal <laughs> way of eating corn. That's what the bears do. That's what the elk do. That's what the moose do. They all eat the long way like a real savage wildebeest. Wait, no, not the wildebeest. They probably eat it the wrong way. Actually, you know what, Jamie? Pull up some videos of wildebeest eating corn to find out if they eat it the wrong way and survive. That's just proof that the government is preventing us from knowing the true way to eat corn. <laughs> That's so good. Michael Hastings fan. So How would Elon Musk ask Joe Rogan, would you snack on your own wiener if you could? Nice. Good. Would I snack on my own wiener if I could? I mean, I wouldn't turn down a solid elk sausage sandwich made out of elk meat that I hunted myself, <laughs> but a wiener sandwich? Dude, I mean, I can't say I've ever tried that. But, you know, I've heard the conspiracy <laughs> theories out there, so who knows? It's entirely possible. Let me ask you this. Who developed the sauce for that? Jamie, can you look that up for me? You know what I mean? 
Like, dude, it's so Joe much Rogan, more funny to see dude, these famous people dude, reacting Joe to these Rogan silly is so qu- funny, questions. Because he, he's so it, like, sincere. This, Joe, would you smoke DMT infused with alien turd with moist critical and Hassan Abi? Huh? Hell yeah, dude. Have you seen Moist Critical and Hassan's videos? Anything they do is always hilarious. And then you throw some alien turd in the mix. Sounds good, That's Dream. crazy, man. Have you ever tried DMT? That coupled with alien turd would probably be like nothing you've ever felt before. If we're talking aliens here, then it might not even be legal, which makes it all the more exciting. Jamie, pull up some videos of aliens smoking turd-infused DMT. That would be wild. Esfan TV asks... Ask Elon Musk, what do you think of Starforge PCs? Starforge PCs? Interesting, but why settle for Starforge when you can optimize for blue sky thinking with Neuralink? If you think about it with the processors that we have today, the future of computing can be a fully distributed, autonomously operated AI. We can have our own personal AIs that function as personal assistants and collaborators. Let's see if Asmund Gold agree with uh, Elon, Musk, Elon Musk here. Whoa, 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 Elon, that's a lot to unpack there. But yeah, Starforge PCs do sound kind of cool. It's 2021, but going from Starforge to Neuralink sounds like a whole other level. I mean, it's true we have a lot of great processors now, but imagine if we could find a way to make AIs a part of our everyday lives. It'd be revolutionary. That said, I wish I could see what you have in store for us. I'm sure it'll be a real game changer, dude. Um, Aspen thinks it's 21 still, dude. Typical Aspen living in the past, dude. Unbelievable. Duo. What would their names be? My man, if my nipples were a superhero duo, you know what? I think I'd call them Nipple Man and Nipple Woman. They'd fight crime, beating up the bad guys, and protecting the innocent. It's entirely possible. Jamie, look up a video of Nipple Man and Nipple Woman fighting crime. <laughs> 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 Elon, most critical has an old school verification batch on Twitter, but you recently stated those are corrupt. What kind of dirty things did Moist Critical do to get that badge? Uh, no comment on Moist Critical's alleged dirty deeds. But I will say that those old school verification badges on Twitter are corrupt because they lack the advancements given by my revolutionary new Neuralink AI technology. In order to ensure ultimate security, I'm also working on a new type of AI called RoboStalkers. Wait, what? Which will be a series of disembodied AI bots that will seek out anyone who tries to access illegal content or breach Twitter's policies. <laughs> who needs the old school verification badges when you have Neuralink and RoboStalkers? RoboStalkers! They're going to kill yeah. us! Mr. Beast, can you make a challenge that involves Elon Musk's Tesla cars and Andrew Tate's Bugatti? How about this? We bring in Elon Musk and Andrew Tate. And we challenged them to race 200 miles from one side of Texas to the other side in their Tesla cars and Bugattis. And the first one to reach the finish line wins $1 million. Plus, for every mile they drive, we donate $1,000 to charity. Now, that would be a challenge worth watching. (laughs) Hold on a minute here. Let me give you a reality check, Mr. Beast. Sorry to burst your bubble, man, but Andrew Tate ain't racing nowhere with Elon Musk. Ain't no way. I'm the top G. I'm rich. I smoke cigars and I have the latest Bugatti. That's why I get all the chicks. And Elon doesn't, because I'm top G. I want to know if Andrew Plus, Tate eats corn the long the way. Matrix and how to beat the system. And that's why I do whatever I want, and nobody can stop me. Not your million-dollar challenge. Not the government, not even Elon Musk himself, because I'm the top <laughs> G. So take that challenge and shove it where the sun don't shine, my man. Oh, and if Elon has a problem with that, tell him to come see me. I'll be ready. Woo. Oh, he asked last time? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hardcore. Elon, can you put Neuralink into Joe Rogan's nipples? I'm sure you must know by now that Neuralink can basically connect your brain to any part of your body. Connecting it to your nipples theoretically be possible. <laughs> but considering Neuralink He's is contemplating. Still in days, He's contemplating. Doing like that He's like, would be a bit premature. Right now, what we should focus on is using Neuralink to develop AI that could help humans explore space or something crazy like putting Neuralink in a hot tub to have a deeper understanding of human nature. It's so good. That one. It's so funny. It's perfect. Elon, I'm sure you're aware of my long, puffy nipples. We're talking either a game changer <laughs> in terms of nipple expansion or some unforeseen consequences with the Neuralink. What just Check happened, it out, man? My man. The hell? Arisel, most critical, how would you seduce Elon Musk if you had to do it? Well, if I had to seduce Elon Musk, I'd have to wow him with my efforts. I'd break into his SpaceX compound, 
dress up in a Tesla spaceship costume, and then proceed to perform a phallic dance involving twerking on the spaceship. <laughs> I'd then take a deep dive into his mind with my insightful and most definitely not cringy observations on the state of the world that would surely make him swoon. After that, I'd whip out my EDM remixes on the Bifrost, get him all in his feels, and then promptly spank his backside with a rubber chicken so he knows who's boss. And that, my friends, is how I would seduce Elon Musk. That slaps, dude. That's so good. Hey, man, that's, that's a, a bold, bold plan you got there. It, it seems a bit too risky for its own good. good. I'd definitely think twice before attempting something like dude, that. Dude, the Elon Musk mouth is, like, way too good, actually. You don't want to get arrested for breaking and entering a SpaceX facility. That could potentially be hazardous to your health, too. Plus, if you were to actually succeed in your endeavors, I doubt your twerking, phallic dancing, and spanking with a rubber chicken would have any effect on me. I'm definitely not into that kind of thing. Instead, I would suggest going for a more subtle approach, like, say, perhaps incorporating a bit of biographical information into your patter, reciting a couple of my entrepreneurial achievements or successes might get you a step ahead in the mission to win me over. <laughs> you know, nothing too outlandish. Oh, and definitely don't forget to bring in your Dogecoin quick, though. It would certainly help <laughs> Oh your my gosh. Joe, can you tell us about your experience meeting the Intergalactic Schlong Committee when you took some DMT? Oh man, that was wild. Have you ever tried DMT? That stuff is insane. So the Intergalactic Schlong Committee, yeah, they were crazy. From what I understand, there are a bunch of schlongs that have kind of evolved to think and communicate, and they all get together in this kind of intergalactic schlong zoo to exchange information. There are all these kind of color fluorescent beings, almost like walking dicks, and they're like communicating telepathically. What? Really, really freaking weird. Jamie, Frank pull that shit up. I think you can find pictures online. It's wild, man. It's <laughs> utterly wild. Dude, the thing is with Joe Rogan, you tell mm -hmm. Joe Rogan Ellen, anything and he immediately like, out of jail and he's immediately like all into no it. One he's like, oh yes, 100%, man. Andrew I remember Kate that like it was jail. yesterday. I don't, I don't think, think that's necessary. It's so funny. Instead, why don't I just use my Neuralink tech to turn him into a cyborg? <laughs> that way he could remain safely wherever he's at. And in terms of space travel, I'm doubtful about whether it's safe for humans because of the whole radiation issue. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, that whole thing. Attack. Most critical, if you would team up with Elon Musk to create the most advanced love bot, what would it be able to do? Elon Musk and I teaming up to create the world's most advanced love bot is like a poem written in the stars. I could already <laughs> see it in my head. A love bot that can do anything and everything. It's going to be a revolution, a renaissance, and something only the imagination can describe. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. What, dude, what is wrong with, what is wrong that with? That does sound like quite the advanced <laughs> love bot, <laughs> moist critical. I'm impressed. S -Fan TV, ask oh, Joe Rogan, what is your opinion about the AI versus human war of 2028? <laughs> okay. Ha, that's wild. I mean, they say it's happening, right? I think that's likely to be true. But, you know, it's my belief that when the human race is threatened by AIs, we won't need to turn to firearms or nuclear weapons. We'll have to resort to jujitsu. Maybe Deontay Wilder will have enough power to knock an AI into another dimension. I mean, it's entirely possible. Hey, Jamie, can you pull up a video of a robot doing jujitsu? Man, that'd be a game changer. But I'm probably a moron. No one should listen to me. Also, did you know polar bears will eat your asshole? For sure. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, I Blue love Star. asking Joe Rogan. What is the most valuable schlong in your schlong collection? Well, the most valuable schlong in my schlong collection would have to be indisputably the one I made in partnership with Neuralink. It's top-of-the-line katana sharpening technology, laser-focused AI, and space-age Tesla armor make it the ultimate tool for all your schlong-related needs. Schlong-related needs? Elon Musk, which Pokemon is the hottest? Hottest Pokemon. I'd say my neural <laughs> connection gives me a unique <laughs> insight on that one. I'd have to say... I yeah, love how he contemplates it, it. It's Alakazam. Alakazam. It could be due to artificial intelligence. I've been so engulfed in AI research that I've learned that eyes can be as 
powerful, maybe even more powerful than Alakazam. And who knows, maybe there's even a way to create AI that could fire off psychic attacks. <laughs> oh my God. Of course, this could just be science fiction, but the possibilities are really exciting. Estan TV, Joe Rogan, what do you think of the Star Forge Systems logo? Do you think it's true it was intentionally made to look like a schlong? <laughs> I didn't ask the second well, part. Well, the Star Forge Systems logo is pretty weird, question. man. Like, I mean, I've never seen anything like that before. It does kind of look like a schlong. <laughs> chuckles it's entirely possible it was intentionally made to look like one but i don't think that's the case man i mean Thank you, Star Wars might be too smart to do something like that right it's all wild speculation but hey jamie pull up that logo of the starforge systems logo let's take a look chuckles again yeah i don't know man like i said it's entirely possible but i'm really not sure it's one of the craziest conspiracy theories out there <laughs> crazy conspiracy. True and real, Joe. Athene and I have seen our fair share of wild conspiracy theories, but I think this one about the Starforge Systems logo is definitely up there. I mean, it does kind of look like a schlong, which makes you wonder what the Starforge <laughs> Systems team was thinking or if it was intentional. Maybe it's just me, but I like to give the benefit of the doubt to those people. Ha ha. I mean, who knows? Maybe it was all just a coincidence, but it definitely made for a hilarious anecdote. That's for sure. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. <laughs> the Elon Musk, tell us About a nipple making poem. A well, let's new see. New device. Uh, something like this. Oh, the wise tit of Musk, always dreaming of some kind of cusk, spreading his brilliance with Neuralink's luck, jets soaring to the stratosphere and Tesla trucks. If we don't embrace the light, the AI will take flight and make us all see its might. <laughs> there, a nipple poem for you. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I just developed a revolutionary steampunk rocket ship about to make its maiden voyage to the moon. I'm thinking the best way to power it is with a huge mass of Dogecoin. So if you're feeling lucky, hop on board and let the journey begin. Woohoo! Twisted Joker, Elon Musk, what do you think about nuclear powered f fleshlights? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> nuclear powered <laughs> fleshlights. That's certainly a complex problem to tackle. Here at SpaceX, Neuralink, and Tesla, we believe in harnessing the power of the atom to benefit humanity. AI has definitely been at the forefront in this endeavor, and we are now on the cusp of creating the first AI-powered fleshlights to help the people in need. It's going to revolutionize the way humanity accesses pleasure, and it's totally bonkers. Personally, I am super excited about this new tech and I invite all interested parties to contact us to get their hands on one of these revolutionary devices. Trust me, it's a game changer. <laughs> the con man. Moist, why did you kill the British queen? <laughs> what? I didn't kill the British queen. I just gave her a micro dagger, short for micro royal dagger, which is a small knife that royalty used to tenderly remove the diamonds from inside their throat. It was done as a courtesy gesture, an act of benevolence, helping the poor deer delicately remove shards of luxurious diamonds Wait. from her throat. <laughs> what I'm shocked about is how incredibly dumb the media is for thinking a well-bred gentleman like me to kill the British queen. It's only laughter that comes from my mouth when I hear such ridiculous accusations. <laughs> Elon Musk, what's your funniest joke about buttholes? My funniest joke about buttholes is that in the future, perhaps we'll be able to use Neuralink implants to control any bodily function, including controlling our buttholes. <laughs> we'll be able to patent the technology and make Tesla smart buttholes that move and open when we want them to. Smart buttholes. In the future, I plan to launch the world's first Twitter verified super butthole that will fly in space and make trips to Mars a delightful experience. Super AI will help us make our buttholes even smarter put an end to any accidents caused by pesky buttholes. Dude, the way he I'm going here to the, the, the final questions, the by the way, right? And uh, like I said, you know, I try to spread out the schlong questions, but hey, moops. Elon, what is your opinion on Bill Gates' new schlong-powered computer? Well, while I'm obviously highly impressed by the sheer computing power of schlong, I'm not sure it's the best way to go about computing <laughs> we have Neuralink, which I believe is a much better and more advanced way of connecting human brains with computers. Plus, I'm also working on my own super secret project with artificial intelligence, which I can't reveal right now. But I think it will help us in the long run to take things to the next level with incredible computing power while avoiding the many pitfalls of schlong technology. Oh, and did I mention I'm working on making cat girls now? <laughs> Yeah, the future looks bright. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to be calling it a day here, guys. Um, <laughs> it was amazing having Elon Musk on our stream as an AI. We're going to wrap it up. I'll give you guys a little bit uh, more insight, like in the guests. Tomorrow, we will have uh, Ben Shapiro and uh, Peterson. And Wednesday, we're going to try, but I don't promise, like we're going to try to have Esfand. I don't know if he's still watching. Esfand, oh. TV, Sona oh. Popham, Tyler, and train wreck. Oh, Athene, thank you for the raid. The Joe Rogan, Elon Musk today was actually so funny. Thank you, Athene. I, I really appreciate it, man. <laughs>